Philippa Wright runs a wool broking business in Waipukuro, as well as other wool related businesses. She's just launched a top end knopped wool pillow onto the market, but it's the bottom end of the wool industry that keeps her awake at night. The DAG business is struggling at the moment, not because it's not required and the product isn't being um, called for, but because in Hawke's Bay, for instance, last year we were struck with a pretty bad drought, meaning that there wasn't a lot of feed, so the animals weren't producing the DAGs in the same quantities. So we are very, very short of the actual product of DAGs. You saying because they didn't eat as much, they didn't poo as much. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm trying to be polite though. Right wool wants daggy wool because after it's dried and crushed, the poo is separated out to be made into fertilizer tablets, leaving good wool behind. But dry weather has kept dags at bay because dry poo maintains its structural integrity upon exit and effective new generation drenches may be part of the non-daggy equation. The dag manure has become a premium product for the likes of Tui who make them into sheep pallets. And that's because we've got gardening on the rise and so they have discovered that sheep pallets are by far one of the best fertilizers. They have the manure, we know what benefit that has to a garden, but the wool fiber that's left in it is adding protein, it's adding nutrients, and it's also adding moisture retention. So if you have a garden full of dag manure and it rains, it's going to retain that moisture in the garden, which is much better, and it'll work better on the plants. But the protein and the nutrients in the wool fibre itself is probably even better than the manure. It's an extreme demand. Despite the demand for sheep poo, dags are not profitable for right wool, and neither is all the other wool. While wool prices have lifted so far this year, Wool is still a loss-making proposition for both farmers and brokers. We haven't got the wool price up to where we need to make a profit in our business, but I believe if I can carry through the next year and get and maintain the markets, I, I think the biggest fear for me is to, to lose the use of the wool and to lose the use of the manure because it is so easily replicated with synthetic. and. I don't want to see that happen because that's why the wool industry is in the situation that it is, because of synthetics. So I, I want to maintain those avenues for our product and that's going to be a bit of pain for everybody. Right Wool is actively advertising for more daggy wool. Farmers can drop off their dags to the company in Waipukuro or arrange collection. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.